Um, little bit of trivia about this episode. A little bit if, of luck starring Brett Gilman. That's true. <laughs> Do you remember what was going on in the world during this episode when we taped this episode? I feel, oh, what was the date again? <laughs> well, the date that it came out was January 11th. Yes. Okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> we did this episode and from the, we, we taped it in the morning and from the half hour we spent trying to get the other guests stuff to work and it didn't work and, um, and then, you know, us taping and it, it was about a two and a half hour process of us mm. being on the thing, right? And um, when when I was taping at home, uh, and this was on on a Wednesday, I believe uh, our gardeners usually come on Wednesday, and I have uh, my uh, coworker, I have them uh, her communicate with them about when they should not be, you know, in, in advance. Like, oh, Scott's taping from this time to this time, so please don't do the uh, the the leaf blowing and all that. So because it took a little bit longer than necessary, I had been texting during the show of like, hey, we're still taping, we're still taping. Can they hold off? And so she she had been texting me, well, let me know when you're done because they're waiting to go. Mm -hmm. And so the minute we were done and we pressed stop on the Zoom, I texted and said, okay, uh, we just finished. And I got a text back, Okay, I think you should turn on the news now. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, Paul, uh, she's saying we should turn on the news, mm -hmm. and I've 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 not asked you about the particulars of this. And you said, Oh yes, it appears there is a huge insurrection <laughs> going on at the Capitol. <laughs> <laughs> now, had you been clocking that during the episode? Had you been watching out of the corner of your eye, I, or had been someone telling no, you about this, Janie? Uh, was texting me because I was I was. Janie said they had a gun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> texted me. I think uh, she started texting me right before um, your coworker was texting you. Okay, and this is a mysterious stranger. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very mysterious person that we don't want to name. The baker. <laughs> so you were talking to the baker, and I think like five minutes before. My wife, Janie, had sent me a couple texts, like, saying, there's something weird is going on, and then these guys, like, uh, they have breached the Capitol? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, but uh, the, the, the situation what is funny. What a wild text to get. Like, so crazy. So crazy to be, uh, because we're so connected to our phones where, like, anything weird happens, we tend to know pretty soon. Yeah. But, but we put our phones away during when we do this, and so it's just, like, crazy that for two hours we the the the, the two hours it was happening we yeah. were out of commission yeah um but it also proves that we were not there that's true we have an ironclad alibi <laughs> we do <laughs> <laughs> unlike some people we know <laughs> true look i was on mr show and i'm proud to say i was not at the january 6th <laughs> insurrection <laughs> And then we'll go around the room and we'll see who else can <laughs> who say else such can, a thing. Who else can make the claim? 